Toolbox Talks 55 Ladder Safety. Never use aluminium or painted timber ladders for electrical work or in the vicinity of power sources. Among the dangers, the paint may be electrically conductive and reduce the friction needed for your hands and feet to stay in place on the ladder. Use an approved fiberglass ladder instead. Do not put your arms between the side rails when carrying a ladder. Doing so makes you vulnerable to injuries if the ladder is dropped or hit something. Carry a ladder with its feet pointed forwards. When you set the ladder down from this position, its feet are already in place. Always use a ladder tall enough for the job. It takes less time to get the right ladder than it does to recover from a fall off one. On smooth hard surfaces, use a ladder with rubber feet. On uneven or icy surfaces, use a ladder with spurs. If you must place the ladder on an unsuitable surface, make it as stable as possible. If for example the surface is gravel, dig the feet into the gravel, then secure the ladder by some additional means. Visually inspect the ladder before each use. Remove slip hazards such as grease, mud or oil. Look for protruding rivets, loose steps or rungs, cracks in the side rails or other mechanical damage. If these are present, take the ladder out of service. Note the weight limit and allow for weight of equipment and supplies in addition to your own body weight. Except for in emergencies, observe the one person on a ladder rule. Even if the weight limit would allow for two people, there is too much risk of stepping on heads and fingers and both people can fall in this instance. Use the three-point contact method when climbing. This requires two hand and foot or two feet and a hand to be placed on the ladder at all times. Use the steps, not cross braces, for supporting your weight. The cross braces do not provide sufficient traction and have the potential to give way. Do not sit or stand on the top step or next to top step of any ladder. If you stand on the second rung down, the step stops your shins from moving forward and off the ladder. Do not overreach while using a ladder. Instead, climb down and move the ladder. If you're leaning your body away from the center of the ladder, you are overreaching. Do not carry materials up a ladder. Have someone hand you the materials or use tag lines. Do not hang things on rungs either. Doing so creates a fall hazard. Never move a ladder without first checking to ensure that nothing on top of it will fall off. Also check to make sure the top won't snag on something. This could force you to suddenly have to support the weight of the ladder. Position a straight or extension ladder so it's one meter out at the base for every four meters of vertical distance. This provides a good balance of forces and uses the weight of the ladder to help stabilize it. Now let's go through the key points for step ladders. Before climbing a step ladder, ensure the hinges are locked. Check the cross bracing for any mechanical damage. Check the feet to ensure they are in place, attached properly and undamaged. Inspect the rope for rotting or fraying. If the ladder has spurs, ensure they are in place before climbing. Keep hands away from moving parts when operating an extension ladder. Extend the ladder one meter above the top of a structure or excavation and secure by tying off at the top. Secure the ladder at the bottom. To do so, tie or wedge it into place.